Caddis Maximus here. This time I'm just doing a quick video about this digital circuit detective, circuit breaker identifier, and that's the key thing about this. There is a cable tracer or cable tracker, a Sentec one that Harbor Freight sells. Actually, Harbor Freight also sells this. It's one of the few non-Harbor Freight branded uh, items, but Harbor Freight's actually kind of always done that. They've always had just a few, you know a few products around the store that are just you know, quote unquote, normal off the shelf purchases for them. This is by High Tech Electronic Products out of Old Glesby, Illinois. It did have a main China sticker, which I scrape, scraped off. Runs on a 9 volt, pretty simple. Turn it on. This is just a little radio transmitter. You plug this into an outlet where you have no idea what the circuit breaker is. And then you go to your circuit breaker panel, holding it vertically. And then this will end up beeping and lighting up the arrow, letting you know which particular breaker this is plugged into. One thing is this does work on radio frequency. So if you plug this into a noise filtering power strip or a power conditioner, that power conditioner is going to filter out the little radio signal that's injecting into the power line. And this device won't work. So this has to be plugged into the quote unquote the bare outlet in order for it to work. And this is just a little bit, you know, this is like a $20 item. It's just a little bit more elegant than the Sentec uh, cable tracer. Oh, the cable tracer, I was trying to dig it up. I have no idea where I put it. But the cable tracer can kind of detect wires that are in walls, and you can actually follow along. This really is just the design for you to identify what circuit breaker is associated with what outlet or you can use one of those outlet to light bulb converters and use the same thing um, to identify what circuit breaker is associated with uh, what light socket just to give you a quick idea much much more expensive like hundred dollar plus would be like this 3m scotch track here the difference between an industrial version and just like a homeowner's grade here where this is just designed to uh, detect circuit breakers. An industrial one will have various levels of sensitivity where you can just search for wires, circuit breakers, or just rough sur searches where you can wave this around uh, against the walls and actually follow along with the wire. But it's just a more industrial version. That's why it has variable sensitivity as well as a signal strength set of lights. The other thing that sets it apart is, of course, what we're seeing here. 9 to 600 volts AC or DC. And that's really what it makes it uh on this 3m an industrial unit is you can use it on any basically any ac or dc circuits you're ever going to run into in order to figure out what is actually connected to which this is live circuit testing tools on this 3m the one bad thing is it just has alligator clips you're wondering well if i want to test a regular plug socket what do i do you have to get what's known as a suicide cord a plug that you plug in with bare wires that you can put these clips onto. But this is industrial, so it's also made to clip on the motors and the controls and just all sorts of stuff to be able to trace wires. Anyway, just wanted to compare that. I'll just show how this works real fast and we'll finish up with the video. So you just use it like this. Turn it on. Plug in your little thing. Turn it on. And you just go along with the breakers here. Well... We're getting a hit there. What's kind of interesting is it says on the back, make one pass to learn. And I think what it's doing is kind of what it does. You see, it's now not beeping or it just beeped before. It is It's essentially, when you wave it across, it'll kind of temporarily remember what's the strongest signal and then adjust it automatically adjusts its own sensitivity so it'll only trigger on what is the strongest signal so that's why it's only doing on this breaker now it used to it beeped quite a bit and i don't know you know they should just include a sensitivity a dial on it that'd be easier than having to wave it up and down your breaker box several times in order for it to figure out okay i need to adjust my sensitivity but that's the whole point now we know that what I have it plugged into is plugged into this GFCI circuit breaker. Anyway, as you can see by my circuit breaker, I live in a tiny apartment. Wish I can get into a, a, a duplex with a garage, but rent prices are crazy where I live. Someday I'll be able to. 
one of these years. Uh, anyway, that's my little uh, <laughs> review of the Digital Circuit Detective. Did pick this up used. I'd even pay 20 bucks for it. I spent like five bucks on it and thought I'd do a little video because this is something that they're selling at Harbor Freight plus actually uh, a few other hardware stores. So this appears to be a fairly common unit. And I guess seems to work okay. Just don't like the fact that you have to wave it around the circuit breaker for it to automatic, for it to automatically attenuate or automatically adjust its sensitivity. I'd rather just have a sensitivity wheel. That would make it a little bit more intuitive, at least. Anyway, I also think for that for how bulky the transmitter is, they could have made a dual voltage, so it'd do 120 or 240, so you could just use an adapter, and that way it'd be. Uh, just a little bit more useful. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.